We are in Backup Exec 15. I'm going to show you how to convert a backup into a virtual machine. So let's go ahead and double click on our server. And we'll have to choose a full backup that was successful. And here's one right here. So now what we'll do is we'll choose our convert to virtual option. And we're going to choose a one time convert to virtual, although you can choose from a point in time, which allows you some, several different uh, dates to choose from. All right, so let's go ahead and click on the edit button and we have to set up a few things. One is run now. We're going to leave that there. If we want, we can check the box to notify when it's complete. And here's our conversion settings. So by default here, it says VMware. Well, we want to choose Hyper-V. And from here, we can choose the Hyper-V server name and the destination path. Uh, overwrite if the old if the virtual machine already exists. Uh, full path of the Hyper-V conversion components, ISO images, et cetera, et cetera. So um, we're just going to go ahead and click Add. And we're going to choose uh, Hyper-V host. And allow Backup Exec to, to establish trust with this host. We definitely want to do that. And then we can put in the IP address of this particular host. All right, let's go ahead and click Next. System logon account is fine. Uh, if we want to, we can tell it to upgrade the, the uh, agent. I'll just go ahead and uncheck that for now. And then you can choose Install. So once the restore is complete, then you'll be able to just wander over to your Hyper-V or VMware server and load that ISO up and get it going.